guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tabitha Marie and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. So today we are going to be testing out the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Stick. I waited until it came to my local Walgreens store and they are super affordable. I love the packaging on here. This retails for only $5.99. I picked mine up in the shade Almond. And here is what Almond looks like. Here is the smudge. And Almond is described as a neutral medium deep neutral undertone and i really think that this is going to be a good match for me so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the demo part from wet and wild i also picked up this lip scrub so right here pull it off i love the smell of it and it actually tastes pretty good too <laughs> And basically you just massage it on your lips it has like a nice glossy moisturizing feel I wouldn't say glossy but it has a moisturizing feel to it so you're not only exfoliating your lips but you're also putting some moisture back into them oh. and the excess Ugh, my lips look so nice let me come in all right, so let's go ahead and get into this foundation review. Okay, so my lips feel so good. So let's go ahead and dig into this foundation. For $5.99, you get 0.42 ounces of product, which is not bad. Let's see. So that's all the product that you get. But with thick foundations, I feel like they last a little bit longer because you're not making a mess and you're only going to apply it where you need it. Whereas a pump, you can pump out too much and you can't put it back in. So I do like that it's a stick foundation. Like I said, this color is described as a medium deep neutral undertone, which is what I feel like I have. I am not really yellow and I'm not really a red you know, undertone. So let's go ahead and apply the foundation to my face. Let's do a test. Ooh. I think this is a perfect color match. So I'm gonna do four stripes. I like to use a brush for my foundations. So I'm gonna take good old Faithful, my e.l.f. brush and just work that. Oh, it blends so nicely. Wow. You guys, like, I'm literally barely touching the foundation and it's moving so nicely. Oh my gosh. The coverage. The coverage, though. Oh, cool. Mmm. I don't know, guys. So, this is my without the foundation. And this side. I'm looking in the mirror over here and I am shook. Oh, my gosh. It's a little bit darker so i'm gonna put some on my ear to make sure it's blending in and make sure you get like right here on the side of the neck so when you turn you don't have like a big old line of demarcation between your foundation and neck but i am excited Woo! Come through with it, wow. Ow. All right, let's do the other side. I'm so excited, y'all. Oh, 
tell you, it feels really creamy as you apply it, like from the stick to your face. It feels really creamy, but once it gets on the skin, so it doesn't really transfer. I don't see anything on my hand or when I wiped it, so mm. it to me feels like it might be a demi matte finish, like their um, Photo Focus Foundation, the liquid one, which I absolutely love. And in this one, I'm in the shade Coco. I'm in love. The coverage on here is so good. Like I can't even see my hyperpigmentation that normally comes through right here with certain foundations. I have to layer on more or like I have a few spots like scars. I know it's here and like here, but I literally cannot see them. OMG. Let me just come in a little closer. I'm shook like yes wait and wow all right so I do have a new concealer that I have been using in my videos like crazy but I haven't really talked about it very much so I'm gonna go ahead and include this in the video this is the new elf 16 hour camo concealer here's the packaging very nice and sleek um, and I have it in the shade Deep Olive. And I have been in love with this freaking concealer. I have been using it more than my NYX can stop, won't stop. And that is my baby. But this dries down so nicely. It's so blendable, so buttery, so creamy. The color is great. I love this nice big applicator. Look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. All right guys, so I'm back with my makeup on. So let me say this, this foundation stick definitely worth the money. It blended well with my other, other products, my concealer, my cream contour, my powders. The foundation did not move around. It looks really good on my skin. I have no complaints. I have only been wearing it for about an hour, but like I said, I will do a check-in to let you guys know my final thoughts. But so far, I think it looks amazing. So, Almond is the shade that I'm in. I feel like it's a good shade match if you're about my complexion. And I will see you guys when I check in later. Hey guys, so I am doing a check-in. I just got back from running some errands, getting my life together. I did my makeup this morning around like 10, and right now the time is 3.12 p.m. And I feel like it's looking good. I'm a little oily in some spots, but not horrible. So I'm absolutely okay with that. But overall, I think this foundation looks good. I'm oily anyway in my T-zone, but I am noticing a little oil starting to peek through, but nothing that I can't just blot and make go away. I like it. That was Jewel that just ran by. It's a hit. So I've had the foundation on since 10, like I said, and it's three. About four hours. I probably won't be able to do another check-in. This will be it. I like it. If I have any concerns, I will post it in the description box or on my Insta story. Make sure you're following your girl on Instagram. That's Tabitha Y underscore Marie. Bye, guys.